Guys, I'm so fired up about this video and can't wait to show you what's under this CF Moto box right here. This is my 2024 CF Moto Ibex 800T. I've been waiting on this Joker to get here and I can't wait to get it together. Here it is, lifting off the box to reveal what's inside the crate. A little wet here. Oh, it didn't work out, did it? Boom, baby. There it is up under the plastic. Let's get all this off real quick. So if you've not seen how the motorcycles come in the crate, they are just boxed in here nice and neat, wrapped to keep it clean. And they've got plastic uh, bubble wrap to protect anything that may, you know, punch her in and scratch it. You don't want that to happen. So they do a good job of keeping the machine protected in transport. Just got to disassemble the outer layer of this crate and then we will see what all you have to do in order to get this thing drivable. So the color scheme and layout is very similar to last year's model, but now they have, I don't know if you call that a orange or bronze color that does max these bronze colored wheels or gold color I guess I like how they got all this protection on it as well we'll be able to peel that off got that big monster screen protected gonna have to assemble the handlebars and get those mounted in the position that I will be comfortable riding and typically when uh, the shop is putting those together they just get them in a the general area where most people are happy with it. The 800 Ibex T uh, is loaded with some awesome features. Uh, first and foremost, the 799cc engine puts out 94 horsepower. And I know for a fact that it does every bit of that because we've put these on the dyno before and it's very impressive. It has different drive modes, which we'll get into in a little bit. It has heated uh, seat, heated grips adjustable windscreen, LED lighting, high quality LED lighting. They talk about that a lot and how dependable they are. They're super bright, but also gonna last a long time and you ain't gotta worry about it flaking out on you. So the T model, the T trim, there's a S and a T. The T is more designed with all the loaded premium features to be able to take this thing off the pavement. And one of those features is the impact resistant cross spoke rims. A little bit of a bash skid plate for some protection underneath. You have the side kick stand and the center stand, which is really nice to have. I'll also be getting the CF Moto Touring boxes, the storage boxes, which will be very nice to have. Hauling gear, hauling different things to and from different locations. I'll be driving this thing back and forth to work as well as to the gym and just around town and going for leisure strolls as well. And you know we're going to have to go off-road with it. Got a monster display, which is super nice. That's how you remove the rear seat. So that way you can put your battery in the battery compartment. That's one thing the shops have to do when they get these out of the crate. And this is just a clear protectant over the graphics for transportation to be able to make sure that the graphics is on there good, which they are. Then we'll peel that off in a moment. Same for up front. Let's get the battery bar, battery strap in place. Not much you have to do to these out of the crate. I think the thing that's going to take the longest is mounting up the front windscreen. And even that, I don't think, isn't. Oh, uh, and the handlebars, getting those adjusted right. Thing also has cruise control. You got toolkit under the seat. Toolkit under the back seat. That's nice. One other thing that 800 Ibex T comes with is these hand guards, and you have to install the hand guards with the mirrors all at one time, just because of the way that everything's routed. This is a handlebar insert that goes in that wasn't on it when it comes in the crate, uh, just simply because the handlebars are positioned and that would have been sticking out 
in the creek. This side here was installed already. We'll have to remove that in a moment to install the uh, left-hand side. And as you see, that's just gonna come over right where the mirrors are gonna insert. And we'll just get it tight for now and then we will do the fine tune adjusting once we sit on the bike and get it, the mirrors exactly like we need to have them adjusted for being able to have maximum visibility behind us. What stinks is it's coming a flood out here. Not gonna really take the maiden voyage on my motorcycle out in this weather. I mean, I'm not afraid to get wet, but I'd rather it be on a pretty day. I don't know anybody that actually want to ride in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> Although the this does have a rain mode, drive yep. mode. So if you do get caught out in slippery, wet conditions, we'll be able to adjust the drive mode over there and you'll see it on the screen in a little bit. And it just is a drive mode to help you not goose the throttle too much and let it get away from you. So now for the windscreen, we're just gonna insert the main frame here that's actually super adjustable. You can, man, you can make this thing as tall as you need it or really short. But uh, you can see that there's gonna be two threaded sections, two inserts there. You'll see what that's for in just a moment. And this is backwards, so. Yeah, left-handed threads. Left to tighten this side, right to tighten this yeah. side. So keep that in mind. We'll insert our Phillips head screws into the two threaded holes here. All right, now we'll just thread up on each side. Got our screws there. And these got collars. Just yeah. make sure. Yeah. yeah, make sure you use the collar bolts. We'll smash that plastic and bust it. Yeah. Don't want to do that. So we'll adjust to get it even on each side and then screw them in. We just went through and did a few checks on some different things, the lights, the brakes, the brake lights. Now we're gonna unstrap it and get out of the crate. We got the crate out of the way, and man, does that motorcycle look beautiful. <laughs> I am super excited about this thing. Time to put a lot of road miles on this thing, and we're gonna get off-road too, because that's what it, she's really made for. About to go drive it to the gas station, fill it up for the first time. God, I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm gonna get wet, but can't little little bit of rain stop me from cruising it around for just a moment. Go put a little rain jacket on. I turned the hazards on just to let you see the blinkers and the lights I got on high beam right now. Uh, such a good looking motorcycle. What do y'all think? A lot of adventures to come on this motorcycle right here at Real Talk Power Sports YouTube channel. <laughs>